Hi, welcome to my second series. So in this series, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, create a small project who's going to have a dedicated server, um, Steam uh, access and uh, Steam features and uh, dedicated uh, backend um, content server so that we can store player information, what they've unlocked in the game, the skin they unlock, all those sweet things that you see in most game. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do. I don't know how long this series is gonna be, but um, we're gonna take it one video at a time. It's gonna be, as I said, a little bit less polished because I have less time right now to kind of um, do super polished videos. Uh, but I'm gonna try to do my best still to make it as useful uh, as possible to you guys. Um, in this series, there are still gonna be some things that um, that need to be clarified. So uh, with dedicated server come costs. So if you don't want to have cost, you're going to need to find another solution like port forwarding or something to have someone test um, multiplayer with you because um, you're going to be able to start multiple client on your local machine for sure. But if you want to play with someone else, then th that server needs to be online somewhere. Um, so this is one thing um, that we need to kind of have. And also the same thing for the... Um, uh, backend services for your game. Um, so for that, uh, I'm going to show you actually how um, how to do it. But if you don't want to pay anything in this series, like it's just for your knowledge. I, I'm showing this to you just so you know how it works. You know how to connect everything together. And at some point, if you're serious about making a game and you have some um, financing or anything, then you can actually uh, go back to this series and look to see um, how you actually do it. So yeah, that's what we're going to see uh, throughout the next uh, probably um, couple of months. And uh, I hope you guys uh, are going to like this. And uh, this is a really uh really cool topic uh dedicated servers team and uh, back-end services and i feel like it's gonna do some light bulb moment when you're gonna be able to connect all of this and see how they interact with each other all right so in this first video we're gonna do the project setup let's get started so first thing we're, we uh, we we want to do is install that um 2023.1.0 uh at least 2023.1 one. So the reason we're doing this is actually to have the latest multiplayer tool that Unity has been working on. So it's called legit multiplayer <laughs> tools, but it's, it'll give us some cool functionality. Like um, we're not going to have to do a build every time we want to test our um, uh, multiplayer game. You can spawn multiple player um, a little bit like that parallel sync project, but it's in engine. So it's, um, it works. It, it, there's a better integration with Unity. You can see the logs of both client and stuff like that. So, and that's why we're going with this series. So, uh, with this um, uh, version for our series. So let's go in project and uh, actually create a new project. We're going to go with uh, 3D URP, in fact. So let's go here. Let's download this. Uh, in fact, it's because I'm not I'm not selecting the right version. Make sure you select here because I'm supposed to have it, right? Yeah, it's already installed. But if it's not, uh, find it in the list and download it. So uh, 3D URP, I'm calling it uh, Project Community. Community. Uh, I'm going to install it into the e game dev and uh, yeah, let's go. Let's create the project. So when the project launch, you're going to get this screen that says that this project contains one or more deprecated package. You want to open the package manager. Um, you can open it. Um, uh, it's mostly, I think, the collection one, the material in your project created by older version. We say, OK, it's going to update your material. There we go. And then here it's going to say uh, that this is uh, deprecated, but it doesn't really matter. You can still keep it. Uh, I think that it's still going to work with the visual uh, code. It's just that in the future, um, uh, they won't provide any update anymore, but still it's uh, the integration is there and it works. So yeah, now we're going to start and install the packages. So now that this is done, what we're going to do is we're going to go in the unity registry and we're going to start installing uh, the packages. So, um, uh, one of them is the input system. Uh, let's start with that one. Let me find it. Input system. So you're going to click install. Um, like in the previous series, um, it's going to install and then it's going to ask you to restart uh, your project. So you can um, go ahead and just do it. When um, <clears throat> it starts again, uh, we're going to still have that pop up. We can say dismiss forever. We don't need that. OK, so now the uh, other thing we're going to want to do is um, install the multiplayer uh, tools. Let's install that. Next, let's install the uh, netcode for game objects. Next, what you want to do is go to this URL so you can uh, search for steamwork.net. And um, we're going to go in here in the install section. And then we're going to go um, with the release, the Unity package. So we can just go to the release page and um, 
when you go down here, uh, we're gonna download here, the uh, Unity package. Once you have it download, you can just drag and drop it onto your project. It's gonna pop up a window like this, import package. You just have to import everything. So um, it's gonna import and then you're gonna be asked to, uh, well, it's not gonna ask you, but you have to uh, restart the editor. So what the import actually did is um, it installed some things and then it did that Steam app ID here. And in here, if you open it with anything, uh, open it with Notepad, this is your um, Steam Steam app ID. So this is where you would plug your Steam, Steam app ID if you had one. If you don't, um, it's okay to let this one there. It's just you're going to have a generic app that they have um, for test purposes, uh, which is a space, uh, space Invader. So yeah, so once that is done, we can restart the editor. Now, <clears throat> um, so the library provide an initialization, initialization script uh, that we can use directly. So let's add it, uh, Steam Manager, Manager, and here, uh, Steam Manager. So this is their basic, it initialized the SDK uh, with Steam. So um, one thing important to know is whenever you're running something with Steam, you need to have Steam running on your computer um, so that it can actually communicate with your um, Steam. Um, it's not everything you're going to be able to do um, since we're not inside a Steam game. Like let's say we're, we're not going to be able to have the, the overlay, the Steam overlay, the friends list and stuff like that because um, we're not running inside of Steam, but some things we can get like like um, our Steam name. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's go in here and create, create an init. And uh, we're gonna go here. Um, let's create a, already a game folder, game. And then we're gonna create an init script, okay? So let's let this compile. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're just gonna get to the point where we can show the username on screen. So, um, that way we know that we are actually connected to uh, Steam. So let's go in here and put some UI, um, Text Mesh Pro. We have that pop-up, import the essential only. So now uh, we can close this. If we go to 2D view, we should see our text here. That is a uh, weird play. So let's reset that. There it is. Uh, let's put some, uh, let's put a little bit more width. Uh, let's go with, uh, something like 500 of it, yeah. And let's center the text, boop, boop. And let's put it bigger a little bit. Okay, so then we're gonna try to uh, change this text to be our um, our own uh, Steam username, okay? So let's go here. I'm gonna open here the uh, Steam. And what you actually need to do here is um, super simple. So in uh, we don't need the update for now. In the start, we need to uh, use the Steam Manager to see if um, Steam has been initialized. So Steam uh, Manager, whoop, Manager dot, uh, my project is still loading. Give it a second here, but it's gonna be initialized. Initialized. Uh, let's go, now that it's uh, initialized, there we go. And then we can open, oops, sorry, open a bracket like this, uh, string, uh, let's go, let's go gamer tag equals steam friends dot get person name. So this is your um, actual name. So what we're going to do here is we're, we're going to do um, a serialized field. Uh, serialized fields. Let me make this bigger so to make sure that you guys see it. We can remove this nonsense and this that we don't need. So um, to use the Steam Manager, it import using Steam Work. Private. Let's go text mesh pro. Uh, I think it's Yugi. Yeah. Um, gamer tag. And we're gonna say here. Gamer tag dot text equals gamer tag. All right, let's test this. All right, so back in the engine, make sure that on your init uh, game object, you put your um, init script and then that you link your text here. Let's rename this real quick to gamer tag. There we go. And here, so it's linked in here. And then Steam is open. 
And then if Steam is open, you should be able to do this. And you're going to get Snappy Doo, which is my uh, gamer, ta my um, Steam username. So there we go. We have now Steam linked to our project. There it is for our first video in this dedicated server Steam multiplayer series. Um, I hope you had fun. I hope you're, uh, it worked out on your end. And um, yeah, this is the start of the series. Uh, in the next video, I'm not sure what we're gonna do, but we're gonna start, I think, um, introducing some um, other feature of Steam into our game, like the create lobbies and stuff like that that we did in a previous series. So yeah, let's get ready for that. Uh, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.